Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video I have taken an another sum on isometric projection where we have been given the front view and the top view. We have to draw its three dimensional isometric view. So let's begin. So first we will see the point O. So this is the point O in the top view and in the front view. Now from point O on the left side we have a distance. So maximum distance is on the left side. So we will calculate that. So this is 25 radius is 25 plus 65 plus this distance is given at the top. That is the radius of the semicircle that is 40. So total will be 130 millimeters multiply by then height of the figure is nothing but the radius of the semicircle that is 40 multiply with the depth is 64. So these are the three dimensions of the figure. Now we have to make a rectangular box. First, I've drawn a straight line. Mark the point O. Now from point O, we will draw three angles. That is 30 degree, 30 degree and 90 degree. Draw light lines through it. Marking these dimensions from point O on the left side, you have 130 millimeters. So here I'll mark 130 millimeters. The height of the figure is 40 millimeter. So marking the height as 40 millimeter. And the depth of the figure is 64 millimeter. Now the height is 40 millimeter, but as you know, for drawing the semicircle, we have to construct a square. So bottom side also will require some space. So you have to leave the space accordingly. You will see it in a while. So creating a rectangular box through these points. Draw parallel lines properly. So the projection will be properly done. Once you draw the rectangular box, kindly check whether the dimensions are properly mapped or not. So it is perfectly done. Now starting with the sum, as you can see, First, we have a semicircle over here and it is at the center of this rectangular block. So first, we will mark the center point. So center point, I'll mark this distance is 64. So center point will be 32 and through that center point, as the radius of the semicircle is 25, we have to create a square of side 50. So 25 millimeters on both the sides, I'm marking the point. Total distance is 50. Now through these points, I'll create a square with side of 50 millimeter. So taking this as the reference line, drawing a line from here and from here. Now this side will also be 50 millimeter. So marking here. So create a whole square. Now for semicircle we require two points to plot the curve. So here will be the curve and here will be the curve. So for doing that as you know the procedure you have to join the longest diagonal. And from the shorter diagonals we have to join to the midpoints of the other lines. So I am taking just two points. Now for drawing the semicircle. Here, keep that in mind, draw this semicircle lightly. I'm drawing it right now dark, but if you're drawing it with me, then draw this light because this is the bottom part of the semicircle which will be erased, that will be hidden. So, draw this part lightly first. So, this curve, draw it lightly. This curve, you can make it dark, but the first curve will be hidden. As there is, the semicircle has a thickness also. So just marking the midpoint here as the curve will be attached till there. So this is the bottom part of the semicircle. Now the same semicircle we have to plot it above also. The height of this is 15 millimeter. So we will transfer these points at a height of 15 millimeter. See how I am doing it, transferring this point above, this point and this point where we have drawn the curve. So 
so 15 millimeter above i'll just mark the point so this is the new point from where we will draw the curve this also now take the compass so this will be dark this will be the curve now till where it will extend i'll show you so take this line as reference and from this point extend so till here this curve will be and this part as i said it will be hidden behind so taking this radius shifting the point and drawing the curve so as you can see this is how the curve is done and the bottom curve will be hidden below so i'll just rub it out upper part of the curve will be visible so drawing it dark and the earlier part it will be till here only joining this parallel line so the inner part will be not there so this is how the curve will be from bottom and top so first what you can do you can draw the upper part first and then go for the bottom part so it is always better that way so do the upper part first and then move the point 15 mm below now this part here you can see it is dark now till where it is extended right now i am not calculating that we will make this semicircle first then we will directly join it now the semicircle radius given is 40 so semicircle will be here so the diameter will be 80 mm so we have to draw the square of 80 mm so this is the center point and this is 80 mm now drawing parallel line through this so it will extend below so total side will be 80 mm so this is 40 and below also will be 40 same goes draw parallel lines so here we have constructed a square with side of 80 mm now joining the longest diagonal and from the shorter ends we have to join the midpoints that the same procedure always you know for drawing the circle and the semicircle so only two points are required so this radius draw the curve you can see and taking the center point here this radius draw the curve now next we have to draw the same curve over the other side also here also so before doing that we will draw this inner semicircle also so the inner circle radius given is 25 mm so first marking the center point so from center point 25 mm is so you have to construct a square of 50 mm so from center 25 mm on the left and 25 mm on the right drawing parallel lines through it and constructing the square from here also 25 mm above 25 mm below so this we have constructed a square and drawing the diagonal it is already there that's the same line finding the center points joining the opposite diagonal now these are the two points from where we have to draw the curve same as we did earlier so this curve and this has the radius this curve so this we have drawn the curve joining this dark now next we have to draw the curve over here also the bigger curve we have to just transfer this points we have to move the points from where we have drawn the bigger curve also the start and end of the curve so this is one end of the curve this is the another end of the curve and this is the last end of the curve now the total thickness is 64 mm so we will move all the points 64 mm so this point this point i'll move 64 mm i'll just mark it this curve we have drawn through these point so 64 mm so this will be the new point from where we will draw the curve so i'll take this as the radius i drawn this curve from this point 
keeping it here i'll draw the curve here also i'll move this point also 64 mm on this direction this will be the new point just mark it now from this point i have drawn this curve i'll place it the point over here and draw the curve now here one more thing this curve will be extended much further the curve which we have drawn earlier so just the center point so from here i'll just mark a center point here so this curve i'll just extend much further so like this it will be and it will be attached from here i'll draw a dark line till touching this curve you can erase this part now next as you can see this line we have to draw which will be attached to this curve now whenever a line is attached to any curve that line will also create a curve shape so here we have to draw a curve same procedure so this bigger curve we have drawn from this point we have drawn this curve you have to shift this curve 7 mm so from here 7 mm and we'll draw the curve drawing it lightly and attaching till the upper part so i've drawn this curve first draw it lightly then make it dark so this how the curve will be joining this part dark make this dark you can extend this line now see how it is done so this is how the curve shape will look in three dimensional this part will also be visible so this is how it extends so from here i'll extend this dark and this line will also be dark so if any object is attached to a curve shape it edges takes a curve shape as it is here drawing this part dark so make it dark now next step you have to draw a circle over here the circle diameter given is 20 mm and it is at the center point so first we will mark the center point of this line so here you can see it is already a center line is marked so this total distance is given we know that so this is the center line so center point i have marked from the center point 10 mm on both the sides as the radius given or the diameter given is 20 so we have to construct a square of side of 20 so from here also 10 mm on both the sides draw the square now joining the long edge diagonal and from the shorter edge joining the midpoints or the other ends so these are the four points from these four points we will draw the curve same radius draw the curve take this as the radius center point draw the curve and the final curve Now, as it is drilled from the top, there will be an inner curve also. We'll see if it is there or not. Now we have drawn this curve from this point, so we'll move that point 15 millimeter below. So this point, this point, we will move 15 millimeter below, and we'll see if there is an edge or not. So this is the new point. So while keeping here, as you can see. it reaches till here only so there is no inner curve shape and we are almost done with the figure just the inner curve line so this as it is totally drilled so there will be this line and we are done with the sum now just marking of the dimensions and the arrow of the front view so this is the front view arrow x and all the dimensions which are given in the question we have to draw it mark the dimensions properly
and we are done thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram